Hello. I was asked recently whether there was any way in which you could highlight text in Microsoft PowerPoint. We know that in Microsoft Word you can simply highlight a word and then use the highlighting tool to select that word and make it stand out. So this tool is something that people have been aware of for quite a long time and it's clearly useful. But if we go into Microsoft PowerPoint we find that there is no such tool up here. Selecting a word doesn't provide that tool in the uh, smart toolbar uh, and neither does it appear up in this font section either. Some people think this is the highlighter tool up here but that's actually the clear formatting tool so that'll remove any formatting quite apart from applying it. If we pop out the font section again you can see here there is no tool at all to highlight text in Microsoft PowerPoint. However, it is still possible, and here is a demonstration of that. So I'll show you in this video how it is that we can highlight text despite the fact there is no highlighter tool. It's quite simple, really. First of all, here's our slide with some text on. And what I'm going to do, and as soon as I do this, you'll probably start to realize exactly where we're going with this, but I'll go through just in case there are one or two points that you're not so sure about. So I'm going to go up to the Insert menu and then straight along to Shapes. Here I'm going to choose the Rectangle tool, click on that, and let's say I'm going to highlight the word Highlighting here. So all I do is I draw a rectangle over that word, like that. Now with that rectangle selected, I'm then going to come up to the top and first of all, I'm going to remove the outline. This is the darker line that appears around the outside. So we'll get rid of that. That's simply a case, a case of clicking on Shape Outline and then No Outline. So that's gone. Next, we choose the color of the highlighting. And this really is up to you. In Microsoft Word, there are only a few colors that you can choose. Here, you've pretty much got a free range. I'm going to go for um, orange, or the amber color here. So I'm going to click on Amber. Now, if you just want to highlight one word, or you just want one highlighting um, effect on a slide, then all you have to do at this point is right-click on that rectangle and click Send to Back. So here we are, click Send to Back, and that goes behind the text. Voila, we have now highlighted the text. Problem is, if we wanted to highlight another word, we can't now select that amber colored rectangle because it's behind the text box. We'd have to then click on the text box and move it to grab the rectangle, but now of course it's all in the wrong place. Or we would have to click on the text box, right click, send to back. So now we've got the rectangle in front again. Or of course you could draw another rectangle, but the problem with that is the rectangles are then different heights and it can look a little bit messy. So what I would do, if you want to use the highlighting tool or the highlighting cheat more than once, is draw it out to make sure you've got the right height, uh, the right color and all that. So it's absolutely as you want it. And then simply what I do for copying is hold down the Alt GR or the right hand Alt button. That's the ALT button to the right hand side of your space bar. Very few people use it or even know what it does but I use it a lot. Um, if, I hi if I put the, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, if I press the Alt GR button, you'll see the mouse changes to have this little plus sign next to it. And as I hold down the, the um, Alt GR button uh, or the right hand Alt button, whichever it is on your computer keyboard, I can click and drag. And as I do, I'm basically creating a copy of that image. So I'm going to now place that over the word highlighter. Then I let go with the mouse and then I let go of the alt button. Now, of course, it's not quite right. This is now too long, but all I need to do is grab the little circle in the middle of the line on the right hand side. And when I click that and I drag left and right, you'll see that the shape goes slightly transparent. So I can see exactly where I need to stop the highlighter. Just there will do. Um, we'll also highlight one more word. So I'm going to hold down the Alt GR button and I'm going to click and drag this. Let's drag it over the word PowerPoint. 
So I place it, what I'm doing is I'm lining up the left hand edge of the rectangle, first of all, then I let go, and then I grab the right hand side and I just move that to where I needed to be. Now once I've got all of the highlighting shapes in place, the next thing to do is to click on the first shape and then what I'm going to do is hold down the control button on my keyboard so that I can click on multiple shapes to select all of the highlighting boxes. I can then let go of the control button and right click on any one of those highlighting shapes and choose send to back. And there we are, that's all there is to it. So we've now created the effect of highlighting text despite not having a highlighter tool within Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe because there are more useful tips like this coming out regularly and if you subscribe, you're the first to know. Of course, you might also consider sharing and that would be brilliant if you would do. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video.